Hello and welcome back to another Tuesday Scarlet Scoop. I'm Jenna Linasars. We're covering a wide range of topics today, so let's get right into it. We start off today with heartbreaking news from the Ohio Union. Madison Paul, an Ohio State student, has died after falling from the Ohio Union parking garage yesterday. Witnesses say they saw a woman fall from the parking garage just before 2 p.m. One witness said her head was covered in sweatshirts when she fell. She had sweatshirts and clothing wrapped around her head, um, so they were trying to cut it to, like, I guess, talk to her or see if she was responsive or whatnot. OSU spokesman Ben Johnson shared a statement at that point which said the woman had been taken to the Wexner Medical Center in critical condition. Just after a few hours, Madison was pronounced dead. Johnson issued a following statement that said, On behalf of the entire community, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Madison Paul. We have reached out to offer our support and condolences to Madison's parents. As this story develops, we'll of course keep you updated on thelantern.com and right here on Lantern TV. Diane Guerrero may sound familiar to Orange is the New Black and Jane the Virgin fans, but did you also know she's an activist for immigration reform? When she was 14, her parents were deported to Columbia. Diane came to campus as part of an OUAB event, and multimedia editor Elizabeth Suarez talked with Diane during an exclusive interview to discuss immigration and her new book, In the Country We Love. Here's more. Really try to understand one another. I think we're, we all have different stories. I think all of our stories are worthy. Um, we all come from somewhere, regardless whether, you know, maybe if your parents or your parents' parents came um, with a visa or overstayed their visa or came through the border for a better life or, uh, or entered as a refugee, just know that we're all human beings and we all deserve a chance to be happy. Um, and, and not to fall for, um, you know, for these tricks, for these tricks that divide us and, and make us look at one another like an outsider. 78 degrees in February? Sounds impossible, but it was the reality here on campus on Friday. Oval Beach was revived earlier than usual and students didn't waste the opportunity to enjoy the unusually warm weather. Here you can see some slack liners. Next to the oval, skateboarders did tricks, while many just wanted to sit in the sunshine. Thanks to Marissa Twig for those videos. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of that weather as we head into March. That's all from us for now. Keep up with us throughout the week for more extended coverage and another Scarlet Scoop on Thursday. Thanks for watching.